Hello, and welcome again to another exciting episode of Troglodyte Room Decorator. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop doing that. I do that a lot. Um, I'm gonna stop umming. They're supposed to get rid of that in school. I'm supposed to prevent that from happening in the future, but you know what? Sometimes it sticks. In between episodes, I did a little bit more work on here. Very little. Uh, put some legs on this thing just so it looks kind of realistic. It doesn't really matter to me that much, but it matters a little bit. And inside should look about the same, except for the roof. Uh, I got the attic going. I put a little bit of stucco background to give a 3D effect for the roof. I don't know what kind of roof would look like that, but that's the one I'm going for right now. Not sure if I like the uh, the overhang as is. Um, Arcanaut, Arcanauts, thank you. Um, he has set up his house so that... Um, um, so that um, spikes come down on either side, and I think it's a good idea for security. Although, I don't know how long they extend, and this might be too far, this distance. So I might um, end up putting a ledge, like, right here, and then having the spikes come down from that, and then maybe have another set of spikes up there. So, um, did it again. It's going to need a little bit of work, but it looks okay right now. I think it looks pretty good, actually. It's, it's stylish. Might want to put in some windows, maybe? Just to make it look a little bit more... I don't know. Welcoming. Maybe in the middle sections. And I could put different colored windows. With, the, with gems, you can change the color of the uh, glass. So I could put like a red window here, and maybe a blue sapphire here, and uh, blah 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 there. Today, um... I just, I'm planning on moving everything over here, for the most part. I might not touch the chests just yet. I don't have a treasury set up, and that might be a few episodes off before I do that. Um, I also don't have a place for NPCs, really. I guess, technically, this could be. Wow, cool, fast. Lightning fast speed. Um, if I were to put a table and chair on each level... I could technically make four houses. And that might be a good idea. Um, just until I can set up an NPC housing system. I can get the basic NPCs in here, the merchant. And then later, I could kick them out and move them over when I create my little NPC hostel. And actually, the more I talk about it, I think that's a really good idea. So I think I might do that. I can put all the the furniture in the middle so it's out of the way. And I could put all the crafting areas on the left and on the right. I don't know what I'm going to do on the bottom here. This feels like an important place. Uh, what I did in my previous world was uh, put a few different chests in the main house. Um specifically with um, dirt and stone and other basic ores like clay just because when I w whenever towards the end game I was trying to make something it was usually out of those materials believe it or not not really out of the metals or anything it was out of those basic things and then every time I finish a run down below in a cave or something I can come upstairs bam 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 load everything up um, like dirts and stuff in there and then I can pretty much take off again without even having to uh, visit my treasury uh, okay so see this is this is why the auto close is kind of difficult okay so for now we're gonna keep this your place Levi Levi but we're gonna take out all the uh, all the good stuff take out that take out the anvil take out the saw um, the sawmill I'm going to leave the workbench um, because that's what keeps this a house for him. If I were to take that away, I think it would remove one of the requirements. So I'll leave that there for now. Um, but let's start moving things over. I might also have to make a better way of getting up there. Again, until I get the double jump, it's going to be kind of a pain to get up there. Ugh. Although I can still basically do it. Um, I think first level, I will make that the, um, workbench area. So let me put that there. 
Let's see. Oh, wait. Missing a torch. It should be here. Got to keep it even. There we go. Um, put the sawmill right there. And I got plenty of wood on me, so I can make another workbench. Although I could make a fancy one, too. Mahogany, cactus. Hmm. Crazy. I think I'll stick with the regular. There's time in the future there we can kind of expand things. And it doesn't necessarily happen, have to happen today. Uh, let's go. Yeah. I almost want to make the potion set up in a different area as well. Because there is another... Um, there is another potion machine that makes the um, weapon potions, like the potion that helps your sword deal fire damage and stuff like that. So technically, I could have a potion set up with this and then the potion machine. Well, I could put them all here. Why am I debating? I don't know. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, second floor, let's make this the furnace area, I guess. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, hmm. I don't want an anvil on the same floor as the... One that these guys. Uh, let's see. Do I put it all the way over here? It's kind of out of the way. Do I put it all the way up here? It feels like a really far distance to travel. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll put the furnace upstairs. And I'll put the anvil here. So let me put this here. Could always change this setup in the future. Oh, it barely even shows. It's so tiny. And put the furnace up here, maybe. All right, all right. Let's go to the workbench. Uh, what can we make? What are we missing from our lives? Uh, we're gonna need tables and such for all the NPCs that we're gonna try to coax into our area. Uh, we got four floors. So, technically, we need four different kinds of tables. What's this one? Shade wood? Oh, I like the shade wood. Let me get the mahogany and the shade wood out of my chest. Whoops. Oh, I almost made it. Can I reach in here? Okay. There's that. And there's that. Alright. Big jump. A big jump for a big boy! <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Um, let's do the regular table. Let's do the mahogany. Let's do the shade wood. Banquet or bar? I say bar. Um, yeah, I like that idea. Okay, and then the f we're going to need some chairs and such. So let's go for the chair. Uh, make that two. And add a couple of bar stools. I like that. Ooh, I like the shade wood chair. That's pretty nifty. I don't like the mahogany that much. Um, I've seen the cactus. It doesn't look that great. Let's leave that there for now. So, um, where should my bar be? Well, let's put it on the bottom. Because, you know, when you get home, you've had a rough day, you might want to drink. I'm not advising drinking. That That isn't what I'm saying at all. But, you know, it's, it might happen. Get a little bar set up here. I need to make a beer so I can put a beer right there. Or, you know, any other drink. It doesn't have to be beer. Okay. <laughs> um, mahogany table on this floor. And put the regular table up here. I could, technically, I could use a workbench, too. Um, but... Uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, tables will suffice. Okay. And as soon as we put the chairs here, we should have people moving in like crazy. So let's start doing that. Um, let's get the shade wood up there. Now you don't need two. You can just do one. That's why I didn't make enough. Let's put uh, shade wood facing this way. And up here, I'll put a shade wood facing that way. And then chair. And then chair. And let me check the housing situation. Suitable. This is different. This is different, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know if it's counting it as different floors. I still don't know. I think it is. There's one way to test. I could pretend to move my guide. 
Let's see, where is my guide? There he is. Let's say I'm going to move him here. Okay, and then I show room flags. And let's say I was going to move him here. Okay, and show room flags again. I don't see a room flag. Did I mess up? It was already showing. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. These are viable. To get the merchant to move in, I have to have money on me. So let's do that. Hey, Levi. I didn't mean it. This is your place. Okay, there you go. Sorry. I didn't mean to make you all upset. I think I just need one gold in my uh, inventory. And I'll get uh, the peeps to move in. Oh, he's much more happier there, I think. Okay. And there. I could also get more NPCs if I created little barriers here and doors, but this is temporary. I just want the basics. Okay, come on, merchant. <laughs> While we're waiting for the merchant, um, let's make some other stuff. Um, armor statue? No thanks. Need a keg. See? Sawmill and that, so I can make the keg on the same floor. I'm going to make this loom. Okay. Okay, what else? Bench? Should I make a bench? No. Ooh, I might need some lighting. Some cool lighting. Candelabra or a candle for uh, one of my tables. That'll look pretty sweet. I need gold and a... F okay. Don't worry about that for now. Ooh, I need, a f I need fire. I need a campfire. I still don't have a campfire around here? That's crazy. I don't know what I was thinking. All right, let's make one of those. Hey, the merchants arrived. Yay, us. All right. <laughs> doors. Oh, man, look at all these crazy doors. But I don't care about any of them. Um, toilet? No, I'm good. Uh, iron anvil or lead anvil. It shouldn't say lead, too, right? Am I not even in the area where it can... Usually gives me the option. It says you could use lead, too. All right, whatever. Maybe they're on different sections. Chandeliers, crazy, but no, not yet. I don't, I don't think a barrel does anything. Does it do anything? I don't think it does anything. Bookcase. Oh, I need a bookcase. I might have to get a bookcase. Okay. Um, what's this stuff? I don't need that stuff. Uh, clay pot. Oh, I better get some clay. Okay, clay in a bookcase. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Don't worry, it's a little sparse now, but other things will um, show up. Let's see where my merchant is. Oh, he's on the other side of the hill. If I walk far enough away, he'll just, like, teleport into his new home. Let me do that. That might be enough already. Yep. Okay, good. And go back. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for clay for a pot. Oh, I, I only have that much clay? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh. I am not a guy who plans ahead. I don't want that kind of candle, because that's what attracts the bad guys. Uh, cool looking shelf, but no. What else do I got? Okay, I only have two of these, but I can make one candle. Want the glass. Oops. I want the glass. I can put the money back in because I don't expect to buy anything right now. Um, uh, this could be used to make chandeliers and such, but I don't feel like I'm in the right place to make a chandelier. Look at this merchant. Look at her. He's settled. That's actually good because early on I'm going to be seeing the merchant the most. One thing that will probably happen is that even when I have my NPC and uh, NPC set up all perfect, is there a guy up there? Look at that zombie! What are you doing spawning up there, buddy? Goofball! Um, even when I have my house and my NPC thing all set up, no, no falling damage for zombies. That's not fair. I will probably have the goblin tinker in my home base just because reforging late game becomes something you want to do constantly and it just makes it easier to be able to walk right up to him and say hey how about a little help there buddy oh I know what I need I know what I need I need money I need money 
I changed my money. Money. And a video cup save, but it's oh, no, no, I this way. Don't be hurting my my new friend. Oh, that's what I get for leaving the door open. Another thing that Arcanauts does, which I will probably do, is once you get the mechanic, you can set up um, wired door access so that you step on a pressure plate and you go through the wall. And uh, if I put a ledge there, that wouldn't be that hard to do. And then, and you don't have to worry about doors, it's just it's easier. But let me get my money. And I'm going to get all my money. There it is. Eh. And, oops, and that. Okay. Oh, I thought I was all cool for a second there. And then I was not. Yeah, go ahead, hurt me. Okay. What I need is a piggy bank. I think they're a buck. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of expensive this early on, but I'm going to grab two. One there. And one there, okay. And I usually put my piggy bank right next to my merchant. So that I can do some quick deals. Alright, put that there on the table there. That fit. Oh, it fits perfect. Oh, that's a perfect that's a perfect piggy bank placement. <laughs> uh yes I did intentionally try to say piggy bank placement for the alliteration. If anybody was curious. And then I got a place for my money, and I got my guy right there. And what else is there, just so that if anybody was curious? Mining helmet, I never buy it. It's a waste of money. Um, bug net, it's actually a decent way of making money early on. Um, you get the bug net, and then you start capturing squirrels and birds and this and that and the other thing. And uh, you can sell them back to the merchant, who for some reason likes live animals. And get some nice dough that way. Um, and torches. If you're trying to save on slimes, it's easier to buy the torches than make the torches. Um, this probably won't come into play. We'll find plenty of uh, potions on our travels. This, if we were playing old school Terraria, shurikens are the easiest way to beat the, uh, the uh, first uh, boss. Um... And the boss is an eye, and I can't remember its name for the life of me. I apologize. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the tour of your place. i got to get rid of these room flags because they're stupid looking. Thank you. I might want to put these torches up higher as well. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, I didn't forget that I have more things to load here. Where would I put my loom? Um, where would I put my keg? Where would I put my campfire? Ah, oh, so many choices. And I forgot to mention, but the reason why I got the extra piggy bank is you can place the piggy bank down while you're traveling, and it gives you a little bit more inventory, so that if you load it up while you're inside a... Uh, Where is it? While you're inside, there it is. A cave or, you know, in the dungeon, you, you've got full inventory. You can place it down on a shelf. You can load it up and put it back in your inventory. And you're good to go. Okay. Oh, I should get a dresser. Didn't I have a... I feel like this episode's running a little bit too long, but it's okay. This is a fun and interesting episode. I can't be bothered with you, I. Ah! Why didn't you come inside? I thought I got maybe a bookcase when I was uh, traversing the dungeon, but apparently not. I got books. I got the books, because I think I can make a bookcase with just the books. There's one recipe later that you need a bookcase for. And just a bookcase. And there's also a recipe that you use a, um... Sorry, apparently I can't think and fight at the same time. They use a table for. I think
think that's like watches. Table and chair. So, even though it doesn't look like it, it's actually a crafting station, each one of these table and chair combos. Okay, I think the loom I would put with this stuff. Just makes sense. This is all like crafting ish. And this is hammering ish. And this is drinky. I guess I would put this down here on the first floor. I mean, this is where the bar is, right? I'll put the keg there. Ugh, barely shows up. So teeny tiny. Well, maybe my house is just biggy wiggy. Yes, I said that. Okay. Uh, I like to do these things off center. Oh, now that torch looks stupid. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I'm going to leave it for now just because. Just because. All right. I'm going to fix this one. Okay. I don't know why I didn't replace that down here when I took it away. Technically, this isn't going to go at the top. I'll just raise it one. Just so it's even with the other ones. Oops. Okay, so. Looking pretty good, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. Let's see how much of a pain it's going to be to get to these different floors. Uh, hey, I can finally use my furnace. Okay. What else? I got anything else on me? Glass. The book, the bookshelf. How did I forget that? Where is it? Did I pass it already? Ooh, the clay pot too, but I don't have enough clay, do I? No, you need six. I have three. Don't move until you see it. Don't move until you see it. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Maybe I'll put this, uh, hmm. I don't know, I don't want, I don't... What if, what if it was right here? That's all right. If I put it up here or over here, it'd be just to fill space. And I'm not trying to fill space, this is natural. This is a natural progression. This table might go away to put something else there just to make it look a little bit better. Oh, I think this is coming along nicely, except for the lighting problem. This doesn't look very bright. I feel like it should be over this. Isn't that better? That's a little bit better. Maybe I'll lose that one. Okay. Not exactly centered. What if I put it here? That's center. Right? Okay, that's better. That's better. Oh no, the merchant, he's going to want to keep opening my door. That's going to be a super annoying, compadre. I might have to move you. Might not be the exact center, but it's pretty close. Let's see. Okay, that's the last of the fiddling with the torches for a while, I swear. Okay, pinky swear. If anybody's out there, I'm holding my pinky out. I swear. <laughs> oh, I am a card. Okay, as always, um, it was a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye. Oh, the nurse! <laughs>